Hey everyone, Shane here at LeadTrailer.com. Today I have a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. I want to walk through how to install the draw tight Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. This is what our hitch is going to look like when it's installed. Cross tube is completely hidden behind the fascia. All that we can really see is our receiver tube. So it's going to maintain a nice clean look on the vehicle. The hitch itself is going to be a steel construction, black powder coat finish, so it's going to hold up really well against rust and corrosion. As I mentioned, being a Class 3 is going to give us a lot of different options for hitch mount accessories. Maybe you want to put a bike rack on because you're tired of loading the bikes inside and you really don't want to get a bike rack for the roof. Adding one on the back of the vehicle is going to make it much easier. Maybe you want to get a cargo carrier, whether that's to move some stuff from inside to outside to make more room for passengers, or you just want to bring a few extra items with you. Maybe you want to tow a small camper. This hitch is going to allow you to do all of that. We come right over here to our driver's side on our hitch. Draw tight is going to have a pre-welded bracket, and this is for any wiring accessories that you may want to put on. You can find different wiring options here at each trailer. Now I'm going to give you some measurements and weight capacities to help you when deciding on any of those hitch mount accessories, like ball mounts, cargo carriers, and bike racks. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our fascia, we're looking at about five and a half inches. The number is important for any of the hitch mount accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers that may fold up. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is about 12 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of your hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. I will recommend with it only being 12 inches off the ground to use a raised shank. You can find different options here at e-trailer as well. As far as our weight capacities go, we're going to have a 675 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So you want to make sure when you're putting the trailer on, cargo carrier, bike rack, you're not exceeding that. We're going to have a 4,500 pound gross trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. You can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight is going to stay the same. However, trailer weight is going to go up to 5,000 pounds. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're going to go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk through how to get it installed. To start your installation, we're going to take an 8mm socket. We're going to be removing the black bolts that run across the bottom back edge here. Two on the lower edge on the driver's side. And then in the wheel well, we're going to have three. One here, and then two right here. Then we're going to take a 10mm socket. We're going to loosen the nuts that run from one side to the other. As well as two bolts right here connecting this rear panel to this center one. Keep in mind, once you remove these two bolts, you're going to have two of the plastic nuts under here. Then what we're going to do is take a screwdriver, flathead. We're going to kind of put some downward pressure on the panel as we turn that. We're going to have one here, and then we're going to have another one right over here. We're going to remove the panel and we'll set it aside. Then we're going to take a strap. Hang it from anywhere on the vehicle. Go underneath your exhaust pipe. We'll cinch that up, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna spray this hanger. You can use a lubricant, you can use some soapy water. This one here, and then we're gonna have one right here. We need to remove both of those. Once you have them sprayed down, you can take a pry bar, and we're just gonna pry one end off of the pen. We're going to take a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove that nut on our heat shield, and then we'll have another one right here. Now this next step, you can do it if you want to, it's going to make it a little bit easier for getting your hardware in on the passenger side. Make sure you have a strap underneath your exhaust. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this third one right here. 
so that we can actually slide our exhaust away from our fascia, lower it even more. We're gonna do it the same way we did the other two. Next, we're gonna take our pull wire, a short spacer block, carriage bolt. We're gonna be using these three holes. We're gonna take our spring in. We're gonna go in this hole and we're gonna come out this one. We're gonna take our spacer block, slide it on. Spread our carriage bolt onto the Bring in of the wire, we'll feed it up, and pull it out. We're gonna repeat that for this hole. For this last hole, we're gonna feed our spacer block on our wire, thread the bolt onto the end of the, the leader. We're gonna feed the bolt up first, then the spacer block. pull your bolt down, then we're gonna repeat that same process on the other side. Next, we're gonna feed our wires through the corresponding holes in the hitch. We're gonna get an extra set of hands to lift our hitch into place. You'll notice there's three holes. We're gonna use the outside two holes here and this very back one. We're gonna go up over our exhaust on our passenger side. We're gonna raise it up into place. We're gonna take off one of the wires. We're gonna put a nut on each side that'll hold our hitch up while we install our remaining hardware. Once our hitch is held up into place, we're gonna come back, we're gonna put a conical tooth washer on, teeth facing up towards the hitch. We're gonna use that washer to push over on our bolt. That'll put pressure on it so that we can put the nut on without pushing the bolt up into the frame ring. We're gonna repeat that for all three bolts on each side of the vehicle. Once you have all your hardware installed, we're gonna come back with a 7H socket. We're gonna tighten all of our hardware and then torque it to the specification and the instructions. Then we need to trim our heat shield. You'll notice the wide end here, we're gonna be cutting off the skinny side. From this edge, we're gonna go back 11 inches, come straight across, and we're gonna cut off this front half. I'm just gonna use some tin snips to get it cut. And we're gonna take the two nuts that we removed from here and up here, and we're gonna install one here and then one here. Next, we need to trim out our underbody panel. From this edge, this corner right here, seven inches up, 32 inches across, and from this edge, again, seven inches. And then we're gonna cut out this portion of it. This is usually just a cardboard uh, probably use a utility knife. Ten snips works as well. Once you have all of your hardware torqued to the specification and instructions, go ahead and reinstall your exhaust, reinstall your trimmed heat shield, your underbody panel, and you're ready to go. It's going to do it for a look at and installation on the Draw Tight Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on 2021 Chrysler Pacifica.